Hello. My name is Hentayumi. I am a cyborg. Born. If you may call it that. In a world that is dense and black. Created without a desire to draw breath. Without a desire to have being. Without a yearning of just to be. Welcome back to today's review here on Mummified Games. I'm Tony, and today we're talking about the roguelike sci-fi light galactic horror game Loot Rascals by Hollow Pawns. Let's get into it. Loot Rascals is an amalgamation of so many different genres that it's hard to explain exactly what it is, as you could probably tell from that welcoming intro. It's for sure sci-fi in the sense that you were traveling to a planet to help fix a machine that was meant to help terraform it so that way the planet can become a resort for vacationers. It's a little interstellar horror because when you're about to land on the planet, you get a vision of a dark god and it causes you to crash on a strange moon that did not exist before. It's a little like a strategy game because once you land on the planet, you travel around it walking around on a hexagon grid and turns are based on one grid movement at a time. It's a little role playing game because after you kill an enemy, it drops different equipment and you can swap out that equipment for better stuff later on. It's a little card game because those items you pick up take the form of cards and there are mechanics that some cards need to be placed on a top or bottom row or an even or odd space, affecting other cards to their four different sides, sometimes even affecting other cards that share the same type, like wristbands or guns. If you fight a tougher version of a normal monster, you might be able to get a cool elemental power that you can put on top of one of your cards, all helping you get to the end of the level where the exit is. It's a a lot of roguelike. When you die for the first time, you find out that the magical god thing that caused you to crash in the first place needs your help clearing out the enemies in certain places. So when you die, the old one puts you back to normal again and you restart the level in a new world seed. I think the art is super cool. Even if it's in a style that is unappealing, the heads are super chunky and the faces are not the nicest to look at. It's sort of like looking at Oni faces. Not the cleanest, but they still elicit the desired feeling feelings from the viewer. And that goes the same for the creatures as well. The creatures are kind of messed up looking, but that's half the charm. There are ogre looking things, and that's probably the closest we have to a base example here on Earth's fantasy stories. The other creatures are well designed and are cool to see moving around the map. The music doesn't do anything for this game, but that's fine. I feel like if the music was just a little bit more noticeable, then it would become distracting. I spent most of the time not paying attention to the music and focusing on the actions and equipping the cards in the most optimal spots in my inventory. Sucks that I wasn't able to try the online functionality of this game. Would have been cool to get to play one of these indie games with other people, but oh well. Maybe another day. This game gets high praise from me. It has so much more polish on it. From the moment I heard the AI character talk, I could tell that this was going to be a much more elevated indie game experience. I have a feeling that a lot of people have played this game, so I'm probably not saying anything new, but, but without a doubt, this is a good game. I really like this game and I'll definitely come back to it soon. What do you all think about this game? If you have played it, what was the top score you made with your cards? I think I got to 1917 with Attack and Defense. If you haven't played this game, then is there another card based game that's out there that you would want me to take a look at? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime. So I built a machine, a human machine. I made it with steel and soy protein, born from a test tube and into a vat to live in Pahiv, and to die just like that. You all do the YouTube dance. Like, sub, hit the bell, comment your thoughts, share and tell someone you know about these videos. It all helps a lot. And as always friends, keep digging. We'll make it out sometime. See you in the